find peace Take a step into the river Get down How did you sleep, Moose? Good What are we doing this morning? Swimming! Swimming! We'll take it in the view You will find the life is this is where we're going swimming down here. Look at this view. Amazing. I've got bananas. you got bananas. What have you two got for your breakfast? An apple and a banana and some crepe. And banana. You got an apple and banana. Are you sharing? So come to the water. Where you will find peace Take a step into the river And get down on your knees So we've had a lovely morning at the pool. It was just nice to relax for a few hours. We've had quite a slow morning. We just grabbed breakfast from the like Starbucks in our hotel. Because I think when you've got three young children, it's important to schedule like down days where you don't do too much and you don't sort of go around too much so it's been really nice then we came back up to our hotel room showered and now we're heading out to explore Fort Lauderdale so when we were planning our trip I had never heard of well I had heard of Fort Lauderdale but I didn't really know much about it at all it wasn't somewhere that I was particularly like that hugely fussed about going to and we haven't really had much of a chance to sort of get out and explore yet after what happened with our hotel last night so we're just gonna go and explore and see where we end up and I'm really excited because looking at it outside the window of our hotel it just looks beautiful and I've been googling some things that we can do and some sites we can go and see so we're just gonna head out and explore aren't we yep and we need to turn I turned the aircon off to uh, film this and now we're roasting but yeah we're excited to go and explore What are you doing, Ren Ren? Uh, I'm doing up high. You're doing up high. Come on then. Cheers! We've come to a really cute place for lunch called Louis Bossies, is it? It's on Las Olas Boulevard and we saw it recommended on a couple of websites so we thought we'd check it out and what we're we having oh you're having pasta but mummy's having pizza look at this this looks so yummy He's ready to go. Let's go. Look what we're going on. Are you ready, gang? You're the driver. The view from our balcony, you can see the bridge going up and we like watching it, don't we, Lou? Yeah. It's so cool, it's gonna go up. Lottie has got the coolest Daddy. outfit on today and she wants me to show you. Hello, everybody, what's up? Hello, everybody, what's up? So she's got this little t-shirt on and it's got little googly eyes on it, hasn't it, on some of them? There's some more googlies there. And there's some on the back. And there's some on the back. Out we go. Go on then. Good morning from Fort Lauderdale. We've actually just checked out of our hotel, haven't we? 
Yeah. Ooh, I loved Fort Lauderdale. I really didn't know what to expect before we went, but it's just beautiful. If you're ever doing a Florida road trip or you're looking for somewhere to kind of go while you're in Florida, I really recommend it. There's just loads going on. There's a really beautiful beach. Their beaches have been voted like one of the best in Florida. And La Salas Boulevard is gorgeous with lots of shops and different things. And it's just lovely, isn't it? Like, I think we've only just like scratched the surface of what there is to do here. But we're not leaving just yet. We've got a couple of hours. We have got a long drive today to our next destination. It's gonna be about three and a half hours. So we wanna set off in good time. But we're gonna spend a couple of hours here in Fort Lauderdale. Just, we're gonna go for some breakfast. We're gonna go to IHOP again, which I know is a bit like, we've just been to IHOP. We went to IHOP in Miami. But that was five days ago and we're on holiday. And I don't think we've had pancakes for a couple of days. No. no, so we do need to go twice in one holiday I think is acceptable so we're gonna go to IHOP and then I want to pop to Bath and Body Works we are not a family that spends money in terms of shopping while we're on holiday like I just I never we never really buy or go shopping or anything do we but I will always go to Bath and Body Works and pick up a couple of candles just because I love them so we want to do that and then we're gonna make our way towards our next destination, which I will tell you all about in a bit. It's Anna Maria Island, which we're very excited to go to because we've heard it's beautiful. And like I said, it's gonna take us about three and a half hours. But first, we're gonna enjoy Fort Lauderdale, aren't we? Yeah. breakfast it's now nearly one o'clock so we're a bit behind schedule for leaving Fort Lauderdale we wanted to leave a little bit before this but never mind we popped to Bath and Body Works in the mall we literally just went there I bought four candles which I will show you when we get to the hotel because they're all wrapped up you probably don't want to see but I love a little candle haul so I'll show you what I got and then we went to Target like you just saw and John got very excited because he got ID'd for the first time in years. He's gone to the cash machine so he's not here to tell you the tale himself but he was very excited. And we got some snacks for the journey and now we're going to start our way to Anna Maria Island. It's saying now with traffic it's going to take us about four hours so it's going to be a long old drive but at least we've got some snacks. It is raining which is a little bit rubbish. As I was walking into Target, I walked a little bit behind everybody and there was this massive clap of thunder and I honestly thought that I was about to be shot. <laughs> so I was like, ah, but it was okay. I'm alive. And now we're gonna make our way to Anna Maria Island. John, I was just saying you got ID'd. Yes, I did. <laughs> yes, I did. So yeah, you won't see us for a few hours, but uh, we'll update you when we get there. Not a nice drive in the rain, my love, is it? No. At least it's raining on a day when we've got lots of traveling. If it was like yes. really nice sun, that would be a bit rubbish. But yeah, we're off. Jump into the car on a Friday night. I want to drive with you. Looking for a bar in the nearest town. I've never seen a sky so blue. drive we have arrived in Anna Maria Island slash Bradenton Island they're kind of joint places and oh my goodness we've only just driven along the main road it's grey and overcast today but it is absolutely beautiful we are gonna not want to leave here I can already tell like we've only just driven along the main road and it is stunning look at this they gave the girls and Rennie a manatee because manatees are very famous. We're actually going to go swimming with manatees later on in the week. But how cute is that? Mm. Do you love him? Yeah. What are you going to call him? I want to call him Jack. We're just walking for some dinner now. We found a little place to go about 12 minutes away that the tourist board here recommended to us so that's what we're going to go and do but you know when you can just tell that you're going to fall in love with somewhere like we've only been here five minutes 
and I can just feel that it's just my so my type of place like not that there was anything that I didn't like about the others I am the type of person that falls in love with every single place that we go to and I did say to John every single place I haven't wanted to leave but I mean they have dolphin mailboxes what more could you want in life but yeah I could just I just feel like this is completely like my sort of place and my sort of vibe that makes me sound a bit of a loser saying vibe doesn't it but it just oh I just really like the look of it so we shall see but uh so far so good cheers go on then cheers we don't have a plan and the night is young it doesn't matter what we do to be yours morning from Anna Maria Island oh we've just woken up and it's so beautiful and I'm just so excited to be here the weather is so lovely this morning and we've got a really nice day planned so we're heading out now to go for some breakfast and we're going to a really cool place that the kids are very excited about What have you got, Mads? Uh, Oreo. Is it good? Yeah. Looks delicious. How cute is this little shop? Shiny Fish Emporium. And some water. Wow! these so this is mine this is Maddie's pineapple this is Lottie's sea turtle and this is John's flower <laughs> we have just been to the coolest and cutest place I think I've ever seen in my life so it's a place called shiny fish emporium and we saw it because it was on the same street so there's quite a nice street here called pine avenue and we went to this place called the donut experiment for breakfast we had sprinkled donuts for breakfast, didn't we? Yeah. Which was pretty nice. And so we went there and then it was we just had a little wonder. And this shiny fish emporium, they do these things called painting a sand dollar. And so we all painted one and it's just such a lovely idea. It was gorgeous, wasn't it, Lobster? Yeah. It was really lovely. Let's go to the beach, beach, let's go get away. We're beach ready, these girls. We've got our beach ball. We've got our buckets and spades and we're ready to go. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Are you ready to see it? The most beautiful beach in the world. I don't know if that's a fact, by the way. I should have been honest. It breaks in my heart. It's weighing me down, baby. I'm like a river that's overflowed. The sooner you know it, the less do we hurt. Let me speak the truth. Such a 
lovely day in Anna Maria Island. We've been at the beach all day, then we went to the pool, and then we've come home and showered and got ready. And we're gonna go to a place called Sandbar, I think, for dinner. Loads of people on my Instagram have recommended it. They've all said, like, go to Sandbar if you can, because there's beautiful views of the sunset. I think, to be honest, you'd get beautiful views of the sunset in any of the restaurants on this side of the island, but we've had quite a few recommendations for there. And also a place called Beach House, but we kind of looked at the menu, and it's not good because we're in Florida, but neither me or John are massively keen on seafood. John likes it a little bit more than I do, but I don't like any sort of fish. So Sandbar looked like it had slightly less fish options, although both have loads of fish options. So we're gonna try and get in there. If not, we'll have to try and find somewhere else. But yeah, it's just lovely, isn't it? Yeah. I feel so relaxed. Throw our problems in the flame. Good one. And throw our problems in the flames Ooh, throw our problems in the flames I get a little bit breathless My thoughts are too big Can I get some comfort, please? Good morning, good morning We're off to go on a boat. Good morning from Anna Maria Island. We had a lovely evening last night. We went to the sandbar, like I mentioned we were going to. It was a lot busier than the place too we went the night before. It just really depends, like that was the golf cafe by the way, golf drive cafe I think it was called. And it was nice to get a bit of a mixture, but I think John and I were saying we do prefer the like, more kind of quaint, quieter places. So we still loved like sandbar and we would go again. But we, I think that's exactly what we did in the Keys. We had one like busy restaurant the second night and then on the first night we went to like quite a quaint one. And I think it's just nice to get a bit of a kind of different vibe from them all. But I think if I had to choose, I'd definitely say the sort of quieter places. But then you never know if they're gonna be quiet until you go in, do you? But yeah, it was really, really nice. And we're just getting in Dave the uh, minivan, aren't we? Dodge the day, Dodge the Dodge. And we're heading to North. go Pardon, the, the north. north of the island to go on a dolphin boat trip which we're very excited about if i saw a dolphin i think i would wee my pants a little bit <laughs> yes that's nice <laughs> let's hope we don't see one so yeah that's what we're gonna go and do now boat tour I think I prefer like little kind of quaint ones like that like small tours rather than bigger ones so when we did the glass bottom tour the other day it was still good but it was a massive boat and there was loads of people on it whereas this one there was what like seven or eight people on it something like that I mean I think that was probably the boat could have holded more hold it held more but yeah it was just really lovely and the captain was so knowledgeable and there was also like the first mate and she was really knowledgeable as well and it's just a really nice way of like learning about the area it's really relaxing we actually saw some dolphins as well didn't we everyone and manatees and it's nice because you know you're not disrupting them like we kept a safe distance back from them and it was just really nice I adopted a dolphin when I was younger and I was telling Maddie and it was making her laugh that it used to write me letters it was obviously the most intelligent dolphin in the world so I've always had a little bit of a soft spot for a dolphin so it was just really nice to learn more about them and see more of the area by boat we've just checked out of the Tropical Resort which I am sad about I feel so sad leaving here out of anywhere we've gone so far 
far. I felt sad about leaving them all, but we will 100% come back here. It's just like, I feel like we found our like little place in the world, if that makes sense. So we've checked out and we're now gonna go and pick up our sand dollars that we got yesterday that we painted. And Lottie and Maddie wrote them a letter, which I thought was really kind, didn't you? To say thank you, because they just liked it so much. That was really sweet. So we're gonna go and give that to them, pick up our sand dollars. <laughs> Summer is gone